Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and if you're new welcome to the channel please subscribe anybody if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell on all and set your settings correctly in YouTube and your device. I'm using the Ostero, uh, Ostara Tarot and also the celebrations of the Love Oracle and the Audacious Action Angels. It's new and it's fun so if you would like to see any of the reviews and see the proper colors because it's really dark and dingy and dusky here so I'm sorry I can't get the colors too perfect. Okay so um, this is the romance reading for January 2021 and I hope you will enjoy it. If it doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. We first start off with the Hierophant and the Hierophant uh, represents Taurus. So there could be a prominent Taurus around you or you could be meeting up if you're not hooked up with a Taurus or you could be hooking up with a Taurus and asking them for advice as the Hierophant also represents an advisor. He's a man, the head of an institution but he could also be somebody that works in a municipality. He's an advisor um, and you might be seeking advice from a mature man that you respect or a professional person. This could be a lawyer, this could be an advocate, a doctor, um, a jurist, it could also be a spiritual advisor. If you are not hooked up and you, you have, you're making plans to get married, then you could be seeking advice from uh, somebody from an, a registrar office or from the church obviously like the high priestess the high priest as he's also known the hierophant high priest or the lord in some decks um, and he's the spiritual advisor then we and this is week one week two three and four and the underneath the deck is the overall energy sorry i didn't mention that before then we have the card of celebrations so that goes very well with the Hierophant that also represents marriage okay so there could be celebrations celebrations obviously being a wedding reception or celebrations because you've just been proposed to now the Ostatius action um, uh, oracle is a, a beautiful modern and funny and loving uh, deck which I think is lovely you have wild roses you might look as beautiful and be beaming like a wild rose now that is my interpretation you must might be full of passion as wild as a rose you might because the red is like fire the the red flames action passion is go you might be really passionate at the moment your wild energy is taking hold you truly are blooming where you are planted and you look amazing so there you go you might be full of passion especially where celebrations are concerned now you've got the three of pentacles in the second week you definitely have recognition recognition if it's in a general reading recognition for your hard work yes perhaps you have recognition for your hard work getting this wedding organized or somebody else's wedding that could be celebrations as well somebody might have an eye on you like I said it could be a Taurus um, that is the or it could be an Aquarius Scorpio uh, Taurus again Taurus or a Leo those are the people in your reading now with this recognition you uh, are just like um, I'm getting to hear godliness is the the word um, the you are recognized within the world and around you the world around you um, but godliness and then I get to hear cleanliness is next to humbleness so 
godliness is next to um, humble neck uh, how does it go godliness cleanliness and cleanliness is humbleness so that could be resonating bells you could be humble having a humble uh, ceremony or a wedding due to the COVID virus I know a lot of people are getting married and uh, having their marriage marriage done on video and later on next year they will have their wedding receptions okay now we've got uh, warmly receptive you are receptive perhaps to other people's energy perhaps you are receptive to the divine the godliness uh, the, the godliness some people call godliness God or uh, the divine I would say you are picking up on your intuitiveness okay um, also you might be more receptive to people's emotions you might be more psychic than normal or highly sensitive now according to the book uh, it means in, in hold on but because I see more things you might be balanced because you've got all the colors of the chakra you are spiritual your heart is open you're joyous and you are grounded the red color is the root color for grounding the card meaning according to the booklet is coffee tea or me well I know what your partner will be thinking <laughs> it's you okay you are becoming you are becoming an empty vessel so spirit can fill you with its goodness so that is such a beautiful card to have under godliness and the two different decks I just think it's amazing always I think it's amazing how cards can come together now you might have been holding on for dear life because you see the four of coins and this rabbit he's got his pirate's uh, eye uh, cap on um, so he, you might have had your eye on a destination perhaps marriage you've been waiting for that and you've been holding on waiting for the right person to come along somebody that will bring you happiness joy uh, godliness happiness um, you might have um, they might have even transformed you into the person you are now somebody that's in love in happy on cloud nine but if um, if that is not the case and then it could be that you have been spending mon money uh, like water because it's a boat spending money like water the boat is in water then it is a warning tighten up the purse strings so that you can get a beautiful wedding reception next year um, I'm also hearing open your mind open your heart and your solar plex your mind to new ideas to spare money perhaps uh, open your heart to love and your solar plex to joy you don't have to have a big wedding you can do the reception later so don't fret I also see with the overall energy that you um, are blindfolded this little bird is wearing a blindfold and he's sitting on his nest but the nests are empty so you you might not have been seeing what is in um, in the future or what is around you what was coming towards you perhaps this um, this proposal or this wedding is happening uh, unexpectedly okay so take that blindfold off again open your third eye and your normal eyes and look around you so there is a big warning to be aware of what is happening around you and um, make sure that you save money uh, for the right time don't worry so much okay and the two of course means balance and pairing up so that is beautiful I don't know whether you can see the card because it's got quite a grayish white background so I'll hold it up for you 
then we have prosperity yes if you hold on to your purse strings and you are careful with your money you will have prosperity and here you've got the Atlantean princess it's like the high priestess I suppose listening to your intuition what to do what not to do and you she's holding a boat so the boat is coming in so and the rabbit is in the boat beautiful and you've got the magic wand so magic is around you be happy with what you've got don't look at what you don't have there is magic in the air I've also getting a message you can make something out of nothing so if it's simple then it's appreciate the small things then you are worth the big things the big things will come later don't worry you have the world the world means uh, you are on top of your you're on top of the world like I said you're in cloud nine the world also means taking something up to the next level it is a romance reading so taking up your um, your partnership or your relationship up to the next level if you are married and you're coupled up then you might take it up to the next level moving to a bigger home or getting pregnant starting a family perhaps that is your wish something is come full circle there once something comes full circle there will also be a new beginning as the world keeps on turning round what goes up must come down what goes round what goes round comes round so also if somebody's done you good or bad they will get it back threefold the same with you it is your time now for the to reach your goal that is also what I'm hearing there is transformation like I said you have been in you've been holding on to something until it was time to for this new beginning Wow you had visions visions of what you wanted and what perhaps an other person uh, wanted if you are hooked up you both had the same vision and you're transforming your ideas and their idea into the positive now into the material world you are flying high like I said during cloud nine you've got a play date so take your partner out or take your special friend out if you're not getting married or engaged then this might be something that you both enjoy let your inner child uh, come out both of you especially you be the leader and uh, make joy and laughter open up that solar plex enjoy the blessings that you have and talking about blessings you have blessings the world again you are holding the world and the wreath of the champion so blessings are here you have what you want now I see I also hear an extra message you might be getting married or if you don't want to do it in two separate things uh, uh, stages then you might be getting married um, for April for or March April I would say okay now we've also got the lion there could be a Leo around so we have the um, Taurus we have the uh, Aquarius um, here you have the Leo so that's twice and Taurus is twice so those are two prominent um, zodiac signs but it could also be Scorpio or Aquarius okay you are as strong as a lion um, and like in the tarot I'll take that with it as well the love heals all and love and um, patience heals all you are um, you could be the strongest party in this relationship so be gentle and patient 
Okay, so it could also be something to do in August, end of July. Okay, that is Leo time. So if you're not getting married now, but you might be getting you might have had a proposal you might be thinking of getting married in April March April or in July August I hope so open your mind open your 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 vision your third eye your intuition your heart and your solar plex let your inner child come out and focus on what is around you not just in front of you I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope 2021 will be an exceptional year for everybody and of course especially for you. Take care, please like and share and I see you either in the next video or in the life. Thank you and be blessed.